Is this very large story about hoax going to do us damage or may it benefit us? Well, it's going to do some damage to the subject in the short term because um, any serious research organisation, like a university department who m might have been interested, and we think some might have been quite soon, in giving us a bit of funding for research, is going to shy off at the moment. Uh, until this flurry has passed, uh, any sensible university is going to keep itself rather well away from the field. But in the long run, and quite quickly, I think this is going to benefit us enormously because it has brought out into the open what the discussion is all about. Either this thing is Terence Meaden's vortex and the rest is hoax, or it is something more as well. And after a summer of many hoaxes, Terence Meaden has refined his theory still further. We are now quite certain that all the most complex systems, the pictograms, are definitely fakes because these are the very systems, the complex systems, which were always going to be difficult for a scientific theory to grapple with. We are really only left with the simple circle cases as being those which are likely to be quite uh, genuine. The theory already describes these very well, and we are likely to go into next season more strongly placed than ever before. However probable or improbable impartial observers may find each or all of the competing explanations, conclusive proof of any of them is still lacking. Terence Meaden hasn't yet achieved such definite proof. In its absence, orthodox science has failed to prevent other explanations rushing in to claim the territory. And next summer, battle is likely to be joined again and will continue until one side or the other lands a knockout blow. At last it's being realised that the burden of proof must surely lie on those who think uh, crop circles are made by agents other than man. The analogy that I like to give is that I have never seen a car being made in a factory. I don't know that cars are made in factories. Um, yet surely the burden of proof is on someone to persuade me that cars are not made in factories because I've seen plenty of evidence that they can be made in factories. What is needed in, in order to reach forwards and approach the answer more quickly is of course moving film of some of these events as they occur. That's what we're really after. It's clear in my mind that whatever is making these formations is not amused by humanity, human individuals, trying to catch it out. It may be they'd be more amused if we actually tried to reach out and contact them. I think after the events of the summer, the debate over crop circles is still very much open. And I would expect that to remain the situation until there's some marked redistribution of resources between the different parties. If one or other party to the dispute is able to recruit some further allies to its side. If, for example, one party is able to recruit the assistance and methods of a particular subdiscipline, then we might begin to see some closure on the debate. And of course, it has to be said that it's much more difficult for the parascientists to recruit that kind of extra resource. But until the situation does show a change of resources, I think things are very much open. It is, you could say, very much a field open to anyone.